Hi guys, today I'm going to be drawing another cat character design speed painting in Photoshop and today we're going to be drawing this guy, so let's jump in! Okay, so here we are uh, in Photoshop and just talking you through what I'm doing right now just splodging in, I've got a, a, some reference on a different screen and I'm just splodging in a rough background doesn't need to be much just at this stage, just something to get in and then straight into the line drawing well, I like to work um, <laughs> I call it the splodge technique where um, I really it's the shapes that I'm looking at. I'm trying to sculpt the, the the character off the canvas, out of the canvas. And Photoshop is really great for that. You can you can uh, splodge around with it until you get it just right. And uh, yeah, you don't have to be an amazing draftsman. You can still get some fantastic results um, with the splodge technique. Uh, it's quite forgiving. You do have to be careful, um, though, that it doesn't become... I mean, shape is a really important part of character design and uh, intentional, uh, dynamic shapes are always preferable. And so, whilst this is a great technique, you just got to be careful that it doesn't become um, uh, too formless and shapeless. There is, sometimes there is, sometimes a lot, a lot of... Sometimes my drawings, uh, they... The splodge technique takes it away from um, from the initial uh, shapes that you that you've sketched out. So that's just something to, to watch out for. Uh, so here we are. I've just splodged in the body just to get an indication of sort of colour and uh, form. And uh, went into the on the last one. I stayed out quite far for quite a while, but on this one, uh, I'm quite happy with the shape of the body. And so I've gone straight in with the uh, starting to detail out the face uh, because the the face uh, the face is where I want people the focus to be. And so. There are various techniques you can use to get the audience's eye to go where you want the audience's eye to go. And one of those techniques is um, to add more detail where you want the user's eye to go and less detail uh, where you don't want their eye to go. So that's, of course, I really want the, de the, the attention to be focused on the face. So. Um, the body doesn't, in this piece, the body doesn't really get too detailed. But you can see it there, I mean, it doesn't get much more detail than that. Um, it's, so that's why I went straight to the face, because I knew the, uh, that was going to require a, a bit more work. And she's quite patterned in this one. I mean, this one, I, I really like how this one turned out. go with the, now that I'm happy with the colours, get straight in there, making her all furry with the fantastic fur brush. Um, it's actually, uh, it's actually the um, smudge tool um, doing that, and I'll go on top of it, there you can see I've added a bit more detail, and then start to go in, you know, to get the, the, the again, working from far out with the basic shapes with the big broad fur strokes and then gone in uh, to uh, close up on the face to get more delicate hairs um, again that's gonna up the detail level on the face and therefore help with drawing the uh, audience's eye to the face And yeah, just adding a little bit more detail, just um, adding a bit more form to to the body, furring up a bit. 
And the uh, the the thing I like about this, how what this one, uh, how this one turned out is, I was thinking that this cat. I'm not entirely sure what type of cat it is. It's almost like a um, cross between. It's almost like a, some wild um, lynx type cat. Um, but uh, she had this. I always. She had this massive ruff around her uh, neck, and. It made me think of those roofs that the, those uh, elegant women um, off sometimes wear with the, with, the, with the gorgeous furs around their necks. So uh, that was my thought on this uh, paint throughout this painting, uh, and inspired the um, the exaggeration of the uh, the fur on top of her eyes, which was to become eyelashes um, and in this one you just what I did there was the, with the uh, I'm going to get in again adding um, more individual strands of hair for again mainly on the fit uh, on around in and around the face but you just notice what I did there with the whiskers the first time attempt I did with the whiskers they were just sort of they were more in line with what was happening in the reference image um, but I realized we're actually caricaturing uh, the reference image and I've given the this cat um, a big uh, wide grin and so uh, the when you went I, when I um, when I myself did the the big wide grin my cheeks were up and I thought well that's going to affect the uh, the way the whiskers fall if the whis the whiskers are going to be um, less droopy and more sticking up a little bit more uh, like like she's really is using her smiling muscles so uh, that's just something to bear in mind and now I'm just going in again adding a bit of I like to just go over it go over the drawing at the end and just uh, add in a few bits and pieces just a bit of squiggle just I like to keep the feel of the hand drawnness sometimes when you're in Photoshop um, Things can look quite digital, uh, so I just like to keep it quite loose. Uh, and these are just sketches. These aren't finished, finished drawings. They are just uh, uh, sketches. adding a little bit of lighting um, this is actually with you see the color that happened there in the bottom on the on her feet that is actually an overlay layer and it's really fun to play around with at the end of the piece if you just grab a, um, a nice zingy color stick it on overlay and knock the opacity down to about 50% you can get some really nice lighting effects um, so and this drawing is done. There we go. So I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, make sure to subscribe below and give us a like. And also leave in the comments what do you think about these videos? Are they helpful? Um, yes, yeah, so just share your thoughts and I'd love to hear from you. And like I say, if you do want to start learning how to design your own cat characters in Photoshop, head on over to www.animationjuice.com forward slash cat sketching. And there you can get started straight away. So have a great week, guys. And until the next video, see you later.